What's up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2025 Volvo XC60, courtesy of Younger Volvo in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today because there are some changed up trim levels for 2025, I'll put it that way. Also, of course, Volvo is known for incredible safety and this one is made in Sweden as well which is pretty darn cool. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there are a few different trim levels for the 2025 Volvo XC60. First one being the core, starting at $48,345, which is roughly a $2,000 increase from the 2024 model year. You got the Plus, starting at $52,995. That's the one we were in today. And lastly, the Ultra, starting at $58,295. So in case you're curious, Ultra has replaced the Ultimate trim. Not much has changed there, but the name itself definitely has so anyways regardless of the trip level that you go with the power plant on the xc60 is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with a mild hybrid system putting out 247 horsepower 258 pound feet of torque that power being sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.5 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 29 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the xc60 I did want to mention to you guys the drive mode. There's essentially two of them. So you go to the little settings icon in the bottom right hand corner of this infotainment screen. You go to driving and then you're going to have an off road mode there at the very top. Then if you scroll down to the very bottom, there is a steering feel firm mode as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that because I love a firm steering feel. If you guys watch my videos, you already know that. But having said that, what do you guys say? Let's not go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2020. 25 XC60 here up to speed. All right, found our straightaway in three, two, one, go! Oh boy, there it is. <laughs> what the deuce? <laughs> That's fun, man. You're definitely not gonna have any issues approaching onto the highway. That just like sends it, man. I love that. That was a brilliant acceleration. That's fun, man, because you don't always know if you're going to have fun in SUVs because they're not always the quickest, which makes sense. You don't have to be, but this one's pretty fun. I don't mind that, but anywho, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs and the back 12.6 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at a very impressive 118 feet, which is typically a sports sedan number. Typically you find around 125 for SUVs, but not for Volvo SUVs because they're known for safety. They want you to be able to come to a super quick stop so you don't hit the person in front of you. So that's probably why the braking is brilliant in this thing. As far as braking feel goes, I love it. It's definitely on the firm side of things. This thing instantly bites, which is wonderful. It, this is more like a sports car right now. I love it. It's a brilliant braking feel, but to go along with that, now let's go ahead and touch on suspension and handling. Up front, you're gonna find a double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, integral link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine on my short little test drive here today. It's definitely absorbing the road imperfections perfectly fine, so I haven't had any issues there. As far as cabin noise goes, this is the perfect test right now. We're going 52 miles per hour. I'll let you guys be the judge of it through my road mic. I'm really not getting any kind of wind noise or road noise that's bothering me. Maybe a little bit of engine noise, when you really get on it but other than that it's been perfectly fine as far as steering feel goes <laughs> it's amazing because i have it in that steering feel firm driving mode and that's what i love so if i were to take it out of that i'm sure it would loosen up a good bit and uh kind of means you have something for everybody so if you like a loose steering feel you got it if you like a heavier steering feel like me i got it as well so it's all good man then touching your rear visibility i love it you can see perfectly fine out the rear view mirror there and uh the second row headrest tucked very nicely into the second row seat so that's going to assist with visibility as well there so huge fan of that and of course 
Again, with Volvo being a safe SUV, rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard, touching on forward visibility. So whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So just one less thing you gotta worry about there. And if you were to go at that ultra trim level, you will also get a head up display. So that's gonna project your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield, better helping assist with forward visibility yet again. So you could better enjoy the drive in the XC60 because it's actually quite fun. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2025 Volvo XC60. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2025 Volvo XC60 finished in crystal white. In case you were curious of our exact exterior color name that we had with us here. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the letter Y, indicating that the new 2025 Volvo XC60 is built and assembled still in Sweden, like I said at the beginning of the video. But little interesting fact, um, the only thing not built in Sweden on this thing is the transmission that is actually made in Japan, which is probably a good thing because the Japanese definitely know how to make transmissions. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on the XC60. You're gonna find either a bright or dark theme. It's gonna be your choice. So either gloss black accents or kind of uh, satin aluminum accents, I'll put it that way. To the sides, LED headlights with LED Thor's hammer daytime running lights in typical Volvo fashion. You also get the automatic feature. You also get automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it sends the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So you got to love that. Then down to the bottom corners there, you are going to find LED fog lights as well. Not all SUVs get fog lights and they very rarely do they even come LEDs. So I'm a big fan of that. Overall, we've seen this look before. I think it still looks good. It's a timeless design, but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of this one, black or silver roof rails do come standard dependent upon the configuration. Black or silver window surrounds, rear privacy glass does come standard for all trim levels, of course. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored or gloss black. Again, Again, dependent upon the configuration that you go with but they are power adjustable they're going to be heated you do get led integrated turn signals with them as well so that's pretty nice body colored side skirts and fender surrounds i wanted to emphasize that because that's something that you quite often don't find on SUVs, even luxury SUVs. Like I know Mercedes-Benz does a lot of matte black finishes to the side skirts, but for the XC60, it's all body colored. It's a very clean look. I love the body colored look. I always say that looks better. So big fan of that. But then taking a look at the wheel setup, it's actually gonna be a different wheel setup for each different trim level. So you're gonna find 18 inch double five spoke alloys for the core. 19 inch diamond cut alloys for the plus that we have today and then 20 inch diamond cut alloys for the ultra but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and swing around to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one all the way to the top body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper got that volvo lettering spelled out horizontally very nice look to that LED taillights, of course, in typical Volvo fashion there for added illumination at night. You guys got to love that. You're either going to find chrome or gloss black kind of accents on the lower portion of that rear bumper there. We got the gloss black look, of course, and that's because we have the dark theme in case I didn't say that already. And then just below it all, you will find dual exhaust outlets. They are tucked away. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. It's been now since we are around to the back of the XC60. When it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is actually a hands-free power tailgate that comes standard for all three trim levels. So that's pretty darn nice. So once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 22.4 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 63.3 cubic feet then. But quite a bit going on in the cargo area. You do have cargo lighting, of course. There are grocery bag hooks on both sides. There's some tie-down anchors, a 12-volt power outlet. You're gonna have a little bit of netted storage, cargo cover. There's, of course, a first aid kit in typical Volvo fashion. They always do that back there. And then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire which you gotta love but then making your way up to the rear leg room that is going to come in at 38 inches even for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back seats there rear ventilation also coming standard you got a rear center armrest with cup holders also dual rear usb charging ports and 
If you wanted heated rear seats, they are available for you, but then make your way up to the front seats. Leather seating for the Plus and Ultra. Power adjustable front seats do come standard though. Heated front seats also coming standard. Ventilated front seats for that Ultra trim level and also a power adjustable passenger seat for that Ultra trim level as well. Overall, as far as seat comfort goes, it was okay. I didn't have any issues in my short little test drive. Not the very most comfortable seats, but they certainly get the job done. But my favorite part about the seats, it's always with Volvo. Gotta be that flag of Sweden found on the passenger seat. Little Easter egg there that they put on every single one of their cars. So huge fan of that. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is gonna be leather wrapped and it is actually heated as well, which is pretty nice. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. Got your Volvo logo on the one side, but all of your buttons are actually on the side of the key. So you got lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear tailgate there. And it is all keyless entry with a turn knob start. So all I'm going to do here, simply put my phone on the brake and turn it to the right to go ahead and start this one. But in case you're curious, also turn it to the right to stop this one. So it doesn't actually even turn to the left. So it's gonna be easy to remember. <laughs> but anyways, once started up, there is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that comes standard for all three trim levels yet again. Very clean look up there. You got your speedometer all the way to your left. Tachometer is on your right. How many miles you have left until you hit empty found in the bottom portion there. Outside temperature on the top. And then in the middle where all that black screen is right now, typically it's gonna display uh, your navigation setup or Google map, I should say, but I don't have that set up quite yet because this vehicle just came in. So that is where it otherwise would be if it was set up. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A panoramic sunroof does come standard. Frameless rear view mirror with home link controls also coming standard. You gotta love that. That's for up to three different garage doors up there. Four zone climate control is gonna come with the ultra, but then dual zone climate control for the core and the plus trim levels. And one of the things that I really liked in our particular configuration is probably the brown finish surrounding the window buttons. A lot of manufacturers will leave that like a matte black. But Volvo actually finished it the color of this brown, saddle brown leather on the side of the doors, which I love. It's different. It's something that you don't typically see. So I'm a big fan of that. And it goes really good with our matte wood trim just above the passenger side glove box underneath the infotainment screen and surrounding the shifter here as well. So a lot of very high end finishes, including this gloss black surrounds around the shifter as well. Um, you got a little bit of storage in front of there, a little bit of storage and cup holders to the right of that uh, shifter there. And then within the center armrest, let's see, it's an okay amount of storage. You got a couple USB charging ports within there as well. So overall interior quality is pretty darn good. I didn't have any issues. Another really cool thing is the interior lighting up here. It's kind of a fade on and off. It slowly fades on and slowly fades off. So I thought that was kind of cool too. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. It is going to be a nine inch vertical color touchscreen display. You got Bluetooth and audio streaming up there, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system actually comes standard. That's pretty stinking cool. You can check out your climate control information there on the bottom, which is also where you're going to turn on and off your heated seats and heated steering wheel to go along with that. You can actually check your air quality at any given time. I thought that was pretty stinking cool. YouTube is available up there as well if you really wanted it. Uh, you can watch YouTube in your car and uh, of course your radio information. So when it comes to the sound systems, there are two of them. You're gonna find a standard sound system with the core and the plus, but then for the ultra, you're gonna get a 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. So we do have that standard sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one. It's okay. I'm just gonna say that one was okay. I actually had that basically turned all the way up and it wasn't really all that loud. I kind of expected a little bit more loudness, but um, yeah, it was okay. Decent amount of bass, decent amount of clarity. Nothing that's going to blow you away, but you do have that upgraded sound system if you really wanted a better sound system. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, at least, is when you do put the XC60 in reverse, you will find a very, very high definition rear view camera coming standard across the board. Then there's going to be a 360 degree monitor icon in the middle of that screen as well if you wanted that bird's eye view. But that is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start with the very best part, the XC60 is an ion 
IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So typical Volvo fashion that pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. You got a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, autonomous emergency braking, collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, cyclist detection, and large animal detection as well. Driver attention monitoring system, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, rear parking sensors, and then runoff road mitigation as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the XC60, incredible safety. You can't beat an IIHS top safety pick plus. Volvo still to this day is known for safety. They always have been. Great design as well. It really is a timeless design. The digital gauges are great, although I do wish a little more customization was available to the digital gauges, kind of like Mercedes-Benz and BMW does. They give so many different colors and loadouts and all that fun stuff. So would have liked to have seen that. The other thing is I didn't see a wireless phone charger. Maybe Volvo has done away with the wireless phone chargers these days because I think it's just about on all of their new vehicles. I haven't found them lately and I don't think they exist quite honestly. And I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different in this video because I'm curious about the reliability because I I have seen Volvos. I saw a Volvo with 275,000 miles the other day. So I don't know if they're reliable or not, but 275,000 miles, that's pretty darn good. So if you got a Volvo, let me know how many miles you have got to in the comment section below. I would love to see that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.